everybody. It's Bob Boob, the real estate guy, and I'm here with my son, John Boob. John, can they see you? No. No, he's not going to. But you heard his voice. He is there. Guys, John, you can kind of just scan and show him around. We are at 12 Main Street in the metropolis of Woolrich, Pennsylvania. Woolrich, of course, was made claim to fame from uh, the Woolrich Mills. And as you can see where we're at here, we're actually, you can see it like a number of the very, very uh, fancy smancy Exquisite, is exquisite. Am I saying that right, John? Uh, houses, of course, over there is the Woolrich, the old Woolrich Mills. And we come to this property right here, and you can see this is an absolutely gorgeous stone faced um, architectural shingle, Cape Cod, story and a half. It, it, acts, it acts like a, it, it acts like um, somebody was, cool people that live in Woolrich. <laughs> um, oh, John, something else to show them too then. See that where that old church is right there? That's a community center, actually. And to the left of that is the big Woolrich Park. So the community center actually, do you know, John, has three bowling alleys in it? Yeah, we got to take the kids. In. Oh, I guess we are doing a recording here. But if you guys want to join us, you can go bowling with us some night then. But it's just an absolute beautiful spot out here then. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit stop and start a few times. We're going to stop and we're going to show you some more of the yard here. Hold on. Okay, so now we're in the back of the house here. And you can see it's a huge lot, John. It's like 1.1 acres. And of course, you can see the back of the house here, nice size deck. There you can see the big dormer that comes out. We'll show you the bedrooms when we go up there earlier or later. And then, as I guess as you're spinning here, John, one of the unique features about this property, one, having an acre of ground in Woolridge, but this is an old carriage garage. Um, it is, I don't know the year that this was built, but geez, John, what do you figure? It's got to be 100, 150 years old, yeah. probably. I mean, that bad boy. And it's got intricate, you know, molding there and stuff. So inside, you have three car garage. Plus you have a big storage area there. And then over here you have some extra storage. Uh, nice manicured yard, some mature trees, but lots of open space. So it's uh, really just a, if you do any sort of entertaining or just like to be out in your yard, it's a, it's a great spot. And of course, as I showed you there earlier, but I forgot to point out, you got two car garage there. And John, can you see the weather vane too? Yep. Isn't that a cool thing up there? All right, I'm old, I think that's really cool. All right guys, we're gonna push pause and we're gonna show you inside the house. Okay, so now I'm going to take you inside, but John, I'm just a geek with some of this stuff. Whoever built this house originally, I think it was 1956. So I think this house was being built when Elvis was out there being coming popular. But John, look at the hinges on this door. Are they not beautiful? I, I'm assuming it's brass. And then at the top there, can you see that's where an R? Yep. I thought it was for Robert. It was meant for my house, but, but it was rich. Because again, going back to well, rich. This was one of the riches that originally built the property here. Now, we're going to go a couple different directions, but just kind of give a lay of the land here. Um, right, right now, we're looking towards the steps that will take you upstairs. And then, of course, this way, you're going to see on this wing that there's some bedrooms and a bath. But, John, I guess maybe let's just show them inside the living room here. And you'll hear, hear the echo, echo, echo. Big, ginormous living room. Yes, ginormous is a professional real estate term then. But John, if you want to show them closer to that fireplace, you're going to see on the fireplace, look at the marble. It is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot even imagine what it would cost to create a marble fireplace like that. And of course, you have the big living room. And one of the things I'll point out to you, matter of fact, I'll point out to you here, diameter right here, here, John, nice chandelier here. But look at the, the windowsill. I, I feel like most all the windowsills in the house, that's actually marble too. And you can see now you get double pane replacement windows here. Get a good look at the backyard we had looked at earlier. A lot of nice crown molding here, stuff at the top. So if you're looking for a house with some character, some personality, this is uh, this certainly has it then. All right, John, we'll go over here and show everybody the kitchen. Now, John, this is really, let's see here if it works or not. Uh-huh. Country song, John. John, don't you love country music? <laughs> no. <laughs> but it, it's an old new tone. And that's, honestly, John, that's probably something from the 70s, but it still functions real good. Nice big kitchen with, I think it counted 78 cabinets in here, John. Okay, there's not maybe 78 cabinets in here, but, but you can see it's a nice big kitchen, new flooring put in here. Uh, has the, um, uh, the like a Corian countertop here. This is beautiful. And then you have more space over here with cabinets. Now we can give you a copy of this too. This is called the home inspection. So what the owner did, um, they had the house 
inspected. So if you would like a copy of that, just text me or John and we'll get that sent to you. A PDF or PDF, do you know what that is, John? Like an email copy of it. Um, this is the dining area. Got to teach these young kids about that smart computer stuff. But again, John, look at that. The marble window sills. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, yep, let's just keep going, John. John, are we having fun? Tons. Now look, now do you remember the old saloons back in the day with the, on the Western movies? Ching, ching. You can walk right in here and guess what's in the saloon. The saloon is actually the laundry and a half bath down here. Because you actually have three bathrooms in the house here. And of course, there's a big, big closet over here for storage. And, and again, this has a newer floor. Now, John, I'll tell you what, you want to keep walking forward there. This is a very unique room. It's, I guess, like a den or a sunroom. Of course, it's overlooking that deck here. But there's big, big sliding doors there. But this is actually a brick floor. I mean, this is, this is really intriguing. Now, John, I guess I'll let you show them through the door there just to kind of give an idea of where the garage sits. So the two-car garage is on the side of the house. So you can pull your car in there, and this is where you'd come in. So I guess it could act like a mudroom too, but it's a really neat, neat spot. All right, guys, come on. Now, if you have questions on financing, reach out to us. There's some good programs out there. Um, this is also the kind of house that you might own a house right now, and maybe you want to know what yours is worth. Just reach out to us. We can give you an idea on that. Now, John, this could be a bedroom. This house has so many rooms, we're going to have to make up names for these. But as you can see, it has the built-in bookshelves. I think it was probably used more as a den or an office area. But again, it has the wood floors, nice big window seat right there uh, looking over the front yard. And then we continue on and John, I'll let you, wait John, you smell good. What's your clone? You smell really, really nice. Here, now this was used more as a true first floor bedroom. It has the wood floors and the closet area in there. So lots, of, lots of windows in there. Big, big hall closet here, John. And then John, I'll let you walk into, so this is bathroom number two that we're looking at. Has a big, big countertop. I think it's like 13 foot long countertop in there. Okay, maybe it's seven or eight feet, but, but John, look, look who's in the mirror. Look, see, that's what John Boob looks like. He does exist. But then you have the shower and tub there, living closet in here then. So nice, oh, got a plunger in there too, in case needed. So guys, I think what we'll do is we come back here, we've just done the big loop, because this is now going back into the kitchen area. So why don't we push pause, we'll, we'll show you down in the basement or by the basement door. Be right back, guys. Okay, now we're down in the basement. This basement is, again, ginormous. That's right, pro professional real estate term. So John, I guess as you're kind of scanning here, you'll see it's got a block foundation. There is a like a cold cellar, I'm gonna call it over there. Storage area over there, and we'll walk there and show everybody. This must be an outside entrance to the Belco door. There's actually a shower down here. Um, I'm not sure that that's, uh, I believe it is operational. I haven't tested that. I better not test it. I'll get water all over the place. But then behind you, John, this is where you have the central air conditioning heat pump, and this is a carrier. So this is part of the forced hot air system that's in the property. But then as we continue over here, there's also a boiler in the property. So this is the oil boiler. Now, I do, I think this has been disconnected, but it, it might be hooked up with the, the plumbing work, but I, they don't use it, but this is an old uh, coal stoker. So on that side over there, John, there would have been a coal bin and I would have had a worm to fill it up. That probably could be uh, put together, because right? I've actually seen these still operational. But currently, you have the oil furnace and the heat pump, electric hot water here, of course, you have public water out here in public sewer in Woolrich, Woolrich, Pennsylvania. Okay, let's see. Take him over here, John. Uh, for those of you not familiar with Woolrich, it's in Clinton County, Pennsylvania. So you're probably, I don't know what you say, John, maybe 45 minute drive to uh, Penn State, State yeah. College. Um, maybe a little less than a half hour drive to Williamsport, Pennsylvania. This was just the paint room. So they just kept supplies down here. Big 200 amp electrical service in the house. Now, John, I'll let you show the audience in here. So this is the other side of the wall where that coal stove was. So this would have been the coal bin at one time, but of course they put the oil uh, tanks in there now. So you have those in there. And then let's go show them some more of the basement or the cellar. What do you think the difference between a basement and a cellar is, John? The cellar's the one trying to sell the property. <laughs> Very 
John with a dad joke. Very good. Now, what I think went on here, John, at one time, they, they might have had water or something in the basement, but see this right here? They put in one of those. Uh, Bee Dry is the name of a company. This isn't necessarily Bee Dry did it, but it's a water penetration system where the water would come in. Now it goes out to the sub pump. And as you can see, and, and we've actually had a lot of rain lately as of the recording of this, and there's no water on the floor here then. So, all right, guys, that's the dungeon area then. We're going to push pause, and let's go upstairs and take a look around. All right, now we're upstairs. John, I'll just let you start walking, and I'll talk behind you. So, here's another bedroom. So, downstairs we have one or two bedrooms, depending on how you're counting that den. Here we have another big bedroom. And again, John, the rooms are huge. Look at how far away I am. Now, behind you, John, too, this one has a mini split, which I believe does heating and cooling. It says dual inverted, so I'm assuming the dual, well, unless they're doing a dual, like we're fighting each other. But I think it means heating and cooling. Of course, you have the boiler, the hot water. Again, double pane windows with John. Uh huh. Flippy dippy for easy cleaning. Now, the new tone system um, throughout here, I don't know 100% accurate that all the rooms work, but these have to do with what, like right now, it's telling you the lights are on in these rooms. Okay? So you could, you know, know what light to turn on or off. Uh, and I'm not sure about all the speakers, but as we know in the kitchen, the one in the kitchen works. And then John, here's our third bathroom here. Now this bath has the double sink. So a couple people can brush their teeth and shave in the morning. Of course, got the throne. Boy, look at these good looking guys there. And here, John. Now here you got a big shower in here. I think that has a light. Whoop, turn off the light, let me know. Uh, <laughs> oh, John, didn't pay the power, but oh, there we go. So there we go there. Again, wood floor out, wood floors throughout. Easy for me to say, I'm so excited. This room here has building bookshelves. So you can see what's happening here, John. This is where, this is the Cape Cod, and you have the roof line coming down here. And of course they kind of built this out. You know what that's called again? Begins with a D. Dormer. Dormer, very good. John Blue Gear is such a good realtor. And John, look, more marble sill plates. Again, when they built this house back in 1956, they did not spare any expense. Now, this is a little different. Um, this is kind of a European thing, and not, never, never mind. Um, but to have a sink within a bedroom area then, so that's kind of cool. But lots of storage spots, so that's bedroom. Again, how we're counting the ones downstairs, I don't know, but that would be three or four, okay? Then we got another one here, John. Get more speakers with the new tone. This is a real small bedroom, or maybe even an upstairs office. Good spot maybe to put a um, treadmill if you just wanted to, or a bike, or just, you know, just have an extra bonus room. The entire wall here, John, is nothing but storage. And look how far back it goes in. Like, oh, what, like, oh, wait, I can't reach all the way to the back. So lots of storage here. And then, of course, this, this part is cedar. Cedar, there the cedar, John, cedar. It smells good, too. All right, John, here we go. Another bedroom. So I guess we encourage kids, people to have lots of kids in this house. Or grandkids, or just lots of family over. But again, nice size room, lots of sunlight in. And again, you can get a better perspective of how much storage is here. And then of course, here's the last bedroom. So I think we're up to six bedrooms you could have, but a bunch of bedrooms. Again, this room has one of the mini splits in it as well. I'm trying to think, John, we, Show them the outside and show them the base on the first floor. I think they've got about everything, huh? Yep. Guys, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you. Hope you had some fun with the boobs here today on the real estate video tour. We genuinely appreciate your real estate business. Uh, if you want to text John, his number will be somewhere at the top and bottom of the screen. What is your number again, John? 570-772-5985. Okay, you guys can text him. I can't because he has me blocked, but if you guys want to reach out to John, you can. Uh, if you have any real estate questions about this house, financing, what your house is worth, any of those gamut of things that we can answer for you, we'd be honored to. All right, have a good day, guys. Thank you.